Hello, hello, my little friends. Oh, I'm so excited you've joined me here on Let's Go Read a Book today, where you can come to enjoy story time with me, Miss Pamela, right here in my little reading garden. Guess what, my little friends? I have a new word for you today. Are you ready? Wait for it. Uh, scholar. <laughs> okay, you do not look as excited as I am about this word. Hmm. Oh, I know. That's probably because you're asking right now, um, what is a scholar? <laughs> well, I am so glad you asked. The dictionary defines a scholar as a person who knows a great deal about one or more subjects, a learned person, a person who becomes a master at something. That sounds cool, right? To become a master at something. Now, that does not mean that they learned just a little bit about something that they were interested in and then said, okay, yep, that's enough, I'm done. No, no, my little friends. A scholar is someone who will work and study really hard to learn about a subject until they know everything they possibly can about it. But guess what? They all began practicing to study hard and work hard when they were little young people just like you. So that means, my little friends, you can one day become a scholar. Yep, and I know what you're probably asking right now. Miss Pamela, how can I become a scholar? Well, I have the perfect answer for you. Right here in our story today titled, Forever a Scholar, written by Michael A. Woodard Jr. and illustrated by Ekaterina Kuznetsova. So now, sit back and open your minds, because here comes story time. An astronaut, a lawyer, a doctor. These are just a few of the jobs that belong to scholars. They started from the very beginning with a knack for books and a way with words, forever sharpening their skills while working towards the honor roll. Some loved to make numbers dance, while others gave their fingers to art. Some loved to study animals or take their toys apart. But the thing that made them scholars was their dedication to the game, a wild impulse to chase their dreams that never could be tamed. Dripping with sweat and tears and nothing being given, challenges are the things that kept scholars driven. Some people think success happens overnight, but life's twists and turns either bend or break you, tear you apart or make you, for you make the choice to stay or take flight. There's a light at the end of the tunnel but know that each step will take time. Egypt wasn't built in a day. It takes patience to beat the odds and reach the finish line. Yet, true scholars have a quiet strength about them and never tell a single soul. With a cool chin up, they take a deep breath and let their courage show. For our ancestral scholars learned long ago, a full mind is nothing with an empty heart, and knowledge tastes sweetest when it brings people together rather than setting them apart. So scholars, lead with love and never be too proud to follow. 
When called to action, remember, it's your pride you have to swallow. Scholarship calls you to be selfless and remember to be kind, for a true scholar inspires the masses and leaves no one behind. With your back against the wall and your head held high, if you work hard enough with a 24K paintbrush, they'll write your name in the sky or etch you into stone so you'll be remembered through time like a beacon of hope. Know that you control your scholarly mind. Forever a scholar. Wasn't that a wonderful story? Gosh, this is such a great book. You know something, my little friends? It just really shows you that if you study hard and work hard and show courage and patience to never give up, starting right now in your little young lives, you are developing the skills that will help you to one day become a scholar. That is so cool, right? And just remember this, true scholars don't work hard to only make themselves great but they work hard to help build up and make others great as well. I hope you never forget that. And now, one other thing that we never want to forget are the incredible creators of this fantastic book. The author for the wonderful words and story that helped to grow our mind and the illustrator for all the amazing pictures throughout the book that delight our eyes. So Michael A. Woodard Jr. and Ekaterina Kuznetsova, we just have one thing to say to you. Well, it seems that's all the time we have for reading together today. Oh, but don't worry, because I'll join you here again. Yes, right here in my little reading garden on our next episode of Let's Go Read a Book Today. And I so look forward to seeing you again. So until the next time we meet, don't forget, keep reading. Bye.